Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again. Uh, a couple things I wanted to cover in this video. Um, one, this is going to be a Splinter Forge uh, video, but first, Aggie made an announcement in the town hall today that once the new Soulbound reward cards come out, which it sounds like should be sometime in the next um, couple, three weeks, that all the current reward cards are all going to be discontinued no matter what the print rate is. Um, so for like the commons, those were approaching 98, 99%. But the thing that I wanted to let you know is the legendaries, as you can see here, these three have really jumped up in price. I mean, a week or so ago, all three of these were in the dollar, dollar fifty range. Um, earlier today when he made the announcement, like Countess Sinesh, um, almost completely sold off the market. Um, the cheapest ones were around eight bucks. You can see a lot of people now are listing them four to five dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. But these are really selling off the market. Um, even the epics, as you can see, they're around 10 cents. Tidebiter had jumped up to 25 cents. Now it's cooled down to 20, but these are all eight to 10 cent cards just a day or so ago. Um, even for the commons, uh, the Pelicor Conjurer, that was like a penny forever, is now four cents. The Pelicor Bandit's three. Uh, mercenary is two cents probably going to get to three cents pretty soon so if you haven't maxed out your reward cards um, you definitely don't want to wait a whole lot longer um, especially like some of the cheaper ones like the rares you can see three four seven cents so they're slowly ticking up so if you haven't got your max copies you're going to want to do so and you know keep an eye on the legendary cards I had a member of the community jedi um shout out said that um Jared Scar, he sold one for 20 bucks earlier today during the hype. So as you can see, it's settled down to $4. But like I said, a couple days ago, these were dollar, dollar fifty cards. Okay, so let's get over to some Splitter Forge. <coughs> so they did make some changes today in Splinter Forge. Actually, let me take you to the Discord and, and read some of the rule changes. Um, one of the big changes is they raised the max stamina to 500. Now, before, your stamina was only 200. So, in a typical battle, pretty much you default to 45 mana. So, you could do about four matches before you would have to wait for your stamina to recharge. Or you would have to spend four gem to buy a stamina potion. Well, now that they've raised um, stamina to 500, it's a lot better. It allows you to play a lot more. Um, electrum balance on the inventory screen is now correct. Foil filter added to the card screen. So now if you go to your cards, of course I really won't be able to search the filter too much because I only have, oh, I, actually it doesn't count that. Okay, I don't have any gold cards. I was thinking of legendary. So if I had any gold cards, I could, oh, right here, separate by foil or non-foil. So all the cards that I have are non-foil. Just so you know, the only way to get a gold foil card is by reforging cards. So let's say I had um, rare cards that I reforged to an epic. There's a 10% chance that that card would become gold foil, which means it gives a bonus to the amount of forgium that you get uh, for fighting the boss. Uh, let's go back. Uh, anything else that's huge um, oh there's now a 15 stamina minimum to battle so what some people were doing it wasn't really a bug or an exploit but let's say they were gonna fight this boss and they didn't like the rule sets what they would do is they would submit when they go to battle like two three cost summoners and then maybe a chicken and hit battle just to get rid of that rule set so that the boss would reset two different abilities so it's just kind of a way to avoid the rule set. But now they've changed it where you have to spend at least 15 mana to create your team. Uh, one minute minimum between battles. Um, they kind of tweak the reward pool for the four gym that you can get um, for a single fight. Uh, max battles per reward has been raised. Okay. And then just some abilities. Summoner abilities now spread to and activate on the hero properly. Blast from the boss does two random monsters. Uh, backfire should trigger on misses. And cleanse now works. That was a, a bug in the game that cleanse did not work properly. So 
basically, for a boss fight, what you will do, I've been working on the boss uh, for silver. Pick my two summoners. We're going to go Kitty and Kelia. <coughs> so he has to retaliate. So phase and thorns so i don't have to worry about phase because i have kitty so i just don't want to do a whole lot of melee damage so we're going to concentrate on doing magic damage and doing some archery damage so let's go with you oh which of these Chaos Dragon takes a lot of mana. Well, let's go with some of the lower cost ones I know I'm going to put in. Uh, let's go Murd Hamper just to get some Life Leech. Definitely want to do some Armor Repair. Triage for a little bit more healing. And what else do we have that's a decent size monster? He doesn't have Force Field. Let's go with Sea Stalker, because Sea Stalker has camouflage. Nine mana left. Uh, definitely want to go Supply Runner to get a little bit of extra swiftness. And let's see. So if I add a slow, that would leave me two extra mana. So who could I swap out? Maybe not Murd Hamper. So let's see what we have for six. Deep Lurker. No, Deep Lurker would get hit with Thorns. Uh, that's what I like about the game. There's a lot of strategy. Like Normally I would put Deep Lurker in, but not with Thorns. I could go Mantoid. Yeah, let's go Mantoid, just for fun. So now I'll hit Battle. Battle is loading. Now we will see the fight and see the results. It'll show a little animation. Uh, when you start the fight, you can turn that animation off if you wish. Um, they also have options for uh, the sound and the music. So right now I have the sound and the music off. So click start. So it shows my summoners, my hero, and then this is my team. Um, you can increase your mana cap if you have gems for your hero. Um, I don't have any of those gems yet. There's also a gem that will increase... Uh, the amount of monsters you can have on your team. I think the one I saw is plus two. So if you have several of those gems, you can get a lot of monsters on your team. And then these are the stats for the boss and then the boss's abilities. So go ahead and click start. There's this little animation. So it's my hero against him. Then it will start the fight. It will start with all the buffs from your summoners. Shows the plus armor. Shows the plus speed, swiftness for the team. And the key to this really is you want to have as high a speed possible to get in the most attacks. And you want to debuff the boss as much as you can, especially speed. The lower his speed, the lower amount of attacks he will do. Because as you can see, they do a significant amount of damage. Like four, mana dam four magic damage could like one shot some of my, some of my uh, characters. So looks like he's going after my hero. So got healed by the kitty, got healed by Spirit Hoarder. One thing I noticed, um, they haven't updated this yet, is when I've got healing, I don't see my totals here change. Because they should have gone up by two with each heal. Like right there, I've got armor repair of two, but I, I still see it at four. So just some tweaks that they need to do in the game. So if you don't want to watch, you can speed up the battle here by clicking on the plus so that the attacks and the animations go faster. And if you don't want to see the entire battle, because eventually you will lose, you can just add, this will show you the damage. So I did 149 points of damage. I earned seven, almost seven and a half Forgium and eight Electrum. Electrum is what you need to add sockets to your items. So let's go ahead and battle it again. And, um, uh, you will see now how he has a different ability. Okay, so now he has the ability of backfire, which I am not worried at all because I have Kitty, so I won't have to worry about backfire. So he still has phase and thorns, so I don't have to worry about phase either. So the only thing I'm concerned with is thorns. So this time I'm going to go Grandmaster Wraith. We are going to go get a little bit extra health. 
Magic damage, we're going to get some armor repair. I always like doing uh, the healer. I always like doing the time mage for the slow. I like putting in the creeping ooze for the slow. I like putting in supply runner for the extra speed boost. And that leaves me three mana, which is just enough for a repair. So we'll go ahead and fight the boss again. I need to get some more crates and bags. So that, uh, especially bags, bags are what you need to get the gems and runes. So I'm probably going to have to uh, get some bags pretty soon. Go ahead and start. Do the little animation. So as you can see, his attack is 5, magic is 4, ranged is 5, speed is 7. And you can see as we apply the debuffs that these will go down. So there's the slow on the boss. He's down to six. Now he's down to five. Swiftest to the team. And we start the fight. Go ahead and speed it up a little bit. So yeah, it's kind of a fun game. Like I said, it's neat with the little animations and you can see the damage going to the boss and the boss attacking back. <coughs> like I said, the one thing I wish they would do is when you do healing and repair that it would actually show the correct numbers. I think it calculates the numbers correctly, it just doesn't show on the characters. And we'll skip to rewards. That was an awesome fight. 354 damage is huge. 17 Forgium is probably one of the highest amounts I've gotten. And then 18 Electrum. So like I said, another cool thing that they just added with the update is you could see on the leaderboard your position. Because before, it was like it would not show you this position, so you would have to scroll through each page to find out where you are on the leaderboards. So it's a nice little feature that they added. Like I said, also for the cards, it'll show your cards, and you can actually um, sort by foil. Okay, guys, there you have it. Um, just a really quick Splinter Forge video. I think I'm going to go more into detail um, a little bit later. I want to be able to purchase some... Uh, crates and bags so I can show you guys opening some packs and hopefully we can get some uh, good gems and runes So stay tuned for that in a little bit um, Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed and like I said, please remember to if you haven't um, either maxed out your reward cards or Your legendaries for the reward cards and you're thinking of doing so um, You probably are going to want to do it in the next week or two however soon before they do the next update and uh these cards will no longer be available. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching, and take care, and I will see you again soon with another Splinter Forge video.